Hello, wonderful world of the interwebs and YouTube. My name is Maya, and welcome back to my channel. So, you can probably tell that I am doing another cello update because it has been three years since I started playing the cello. That's a little crazy. Um, there's a lot of things that have happened over the course of this year. I actually did an update at two and a half years because I'd finished my first year of university. Um, I am now not in school. I've decided to go the acting route instead of the music route because I just decided I like acting more and nothing against cello. I still love the cello. That being said, I have not been studying music for the past six months. Um, so I don't know if I've improved, honestly. I have still been taking cello lessons. I actually got a new cello teacher who I love. Um, that is a huge positive. She is great. She's super encouraging. Um, she's nothing like the teacher I had when I was in school, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> um, I've worked on some new pieces. I've kept up with it a little bit. I definitely have not been practicing as much as I used to because uh, I'm not in school for music, so um, I have slacked off on the practicing everyday thing. Um, so that's cool, I guess. I don't really know. I mean, as far as cello goes, just been keep on keeping on. I've definitely rekindled my sort of passion for it. You know, I'm playing cello because I want to, not because I have a recital coming up and I need to practice. So that's been really good for me. In terms of my goals for next year, that's about all I can say. My cello playing is kind of up in the air. I'm gonna be gone for two months all of February and all of March, I won't have my cello. April and May, I will have my cello. This summer, depending on my job, um, I probably won't have my cello, and even if I do have my cello, I probably won't be able to practice it that much. And then, depending on where I go to school in the fall, I might not bring my cello with me at all. So as far as there being more updates in the future, I cannot guarantee, because I don't know how long I'll have my cello with me. After school, once I decide where I'm actually li living, of course I'm going to bring my cello with me. I still want to play cello, I still really enjoy playing cello, however, at this current moment in time I might have to take a break from it just because other things are more important and other things I need to learn. But that aside, I want to get into this cello update. I'm just going to play one piece for you guys today um, because it is important. In December, I had a cello recital with the teacher that I'm with currently, and I played a very exciting piece. Most of you who are watching this video will have seen my one year of cello video. If you haven't, go watch that first. I would highly recommend. It's the most popular video on my channel, so um, clearly I'm doing something right. Um, but in that video, there was a certain song that I played every single month over the course of the first year of me learning cello. Um, no surprises here, it was the prelude from Bach's first cello suite for unaccompanied cello. I wasn't very good at it. Um, honestly, still not super great at it, but I have actually learned it with the bowings and everything, and I did actually do it for a recital. So... Maybe. I've improved. Anyway, I just, I really wanted to make this video because I feel like I've kind of come full circle, especially since I don't know what the future holds for me. I figured this is a good way to kind of round off this saga of cello videos on my channel. So just like the very first video about cello I put out on my channel, I am going to be playing the prelude from Bach's first cello suite for Unaccompanied Cello. I hope you enjoy! Thank you. 
this video. I hope you enjoyed it even though it's a little bit last minute, a little bit rushed, a little bit more laid back. I will be coming at you with more videos in the future at some point. Stay tuned. I will do my best to keep playing cello but again can't make any guarantees. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you think I improved. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I always appreciate reading your comments so go for it, go wild, go crazy. I give you permission to roast me in the comment section. Anyway, that is all I have for you today, so until next time, this is Maya signing out.